All right, welcome to How to Draw Anything. Today we're going to learn how to draw a cute little snail. I start by making a really big swirly shape with lots of space in between those lines. This is going to be a shell. We end it, I just kind of cut it off with a little line because that's the entrance to a shell. For the body, it's kind of an odd shape. It starts kind of like a rectangle, but then it ends in a point like a triangle for his tail. And it's a little curved out in front because, you know, he's squishing down to the ground and he's slimy. Then I draw two little nose stalks and two eye stalks. And I do little round balls on the points of each. And if you've ever seen a snail, you've seen the little pointy things that are his kind of feeler noses and then the two long eye stalks. Then I colored the whole shape in. Um, I'm using markers here, so I like to do big, broad strokes and not worry about details on my first pass. That's because markers tend to soak the paper, and if they overlap too much, it starts to look really messy. So you kind of want to do as little coloring as possible for the space. When it comes to the shell, you can do almost anything you want coloring-wise. I like to do fun little patterns because my snails are bright and colorful and happy. Uh, for this one, I'm just doing kind of polka dots, and then I'll come back and I'll do little red rings around each polka dot just to dress it up even more. But you can go crazy on your own snail. At about this point, I'm kind of regretting my choice to do an intricate pattern because I've gotten bored with it, but we'll continue because it would look really silly to stop right now. Next, I'm going to come in and I'm going to do the little details. So the little feelers get two little black dots, and then his eyes actually get circles with little pupils in them. And I'm going to make him look mildly concerned by giving him little curvy eyebrows. And then I'm just going to add some the curvy triangle grass shapes around him because he's a happy little snail out in the grass. And these don't have to be perfect, they can just kind of be abstract. I'm going to color them in real loosely and quickly. You don't need to give too much detail here. Everybody pretty much knows what grass looks like. A big line underneath so I don't accidentally put grass all up on his body. And there you have it, a cute little snail. From here you can be finished, or you can add a lot more to the picture. You could add some nice flowers, you could add a couple other snails, you could give them a snail family, you could draw a tree, or you could do what I do and write slimy snail on the bottom. All right, I hope you had fun. Uh, comment below if you have any ideas for what I should draw next.